Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me a question today. How can you evenly space out uh, some segments? Evidently, he might be a bowl turner that they do a lot with segments. And he had 11 degree angles turned, so it makes it 22 degree. Well, 22 doesn't divide into 360. But 24 does. So you take your item, go up to, and anything, I mean, a lot of things would work, but we're gonna go to the transformation docker. We're gonna rotate it 24 degrees. 24 into 360 is 15, so we're only gonna do 14 because that's a, uh, we already have one copy. And there's your result. Now it's kind of hard to see because the fact that it's double line, but it's evenly spaced out. So let's just do what I did earlier. Let's set. The, let's see how big this circle is. It's 16 inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 18, and I'm going to use my Smart Fill tool to fill those in. And that way, you can see they're evenly spaced out. And then get rid of those other lines, you can left click, right click. It looks the same, but it's, I guess without the circle, you can see it. So that will work with any, you know, if you have to use that 22 degrees and you want to space out equally, I, I've got a question in for him on an email, but a lot of times people don't see the replies on YouTube till days in. So that would work if that's how you want to make them equally spaced out. I mean, you could do it with anything divided by 360. Let's just try something else. Let's uh, delete all these. I'm gonna just have to delete them individually. Let's do it now by 30 degrees. And 30 into 360 would be 12. So we're going to make 11. And now they're 30 degrees apart. Let's just delete that. Same thing with the... So you could actually see what's going on. That's the same, the 22 degree segment. But now they are spaced out evenly. I hope that answered his question. And thank you for watching.